All right, everybody. I greatly appreciate you tuning in to my channel. I'm BJ from the 478. And today we're down here at Sound Source in Macon, Georgia. And what I got going on today is I want to show you how to change your digitizer on your 8.4 inch screen on a, this is a 2018. This is going to save you a lot of money. Um, a lot of times when the buttons aren't functional, you, you know, the touch screen is not working properly. All you have to do is just, you see how it's discoloring up here. So actually the glue is coming undone and I took the liberty of go ahead and taking this off and taking this apart just to make sure I have the right digitizer. So, um, you know, all you do is just unclip the front, you stick a pro, one of these pry tools in here, um, unclip it, bam. Like I said, I took the liberty of go ahead and unplugging all of these harnesses and antenna adapters and all that good stuff, XM satellite. And just plug them back, color coded uh, back into the slots once you do that. So let's take it on in there. So, like I said, I took the liberty of go ahead and taking out the screws. You have a screw here, screw here, screw here, screw here. A couple more and some on the side. So let's set this up quick. Now, one thing I can say about this, this job right here, it is going to be messy. Reason in being, um, you might want to put some gloves on, but I already got it on my hand, so I'm not too much going to worry about it. Like when those digitizers start going bad, you can see this adhesive here, this glue. Well, it's seeping all over, and now the touch screen is not working properly. So what we're going to do is going to disassemble this. one way to do it I guess You have to be careful with these ribbon cables. You're not going to want to accidentally mess those cables up. Now, what you can do is set this to the side. And this is this is the actual digitizer. This is what we'll be taking off. And as you can see, it's starting to come up. And that way, the, it's not, the touch screen is not actually working properly. You're not going to want to mess this cable up right here either. Some kind of sensor. But yeah, this is already getting to be a messy job. Set that to the side. Alright, so the stuff I use, you're going to need some, some towels. I like the I like the goo gone and I also like the multi-purpose Amaral um, adhesive remover. So. so let's go ahead and crack this puppy open. See, let me check them out all over your hands and stuff. Now what you're not gonna wanna do is accidentally mess it up. This is the other unit up. All right, 
So what you have to be careful is I went ahead and separated, but I separated it from the top. And then this is what makes the job so nasty is because this this goo, goo right here gets hot over time and it just messes up and it and it creates a seam in between and it doesn't allow these functions to work on it. So the digitizer has gone bad as you can see. Um, let's go ahead and clean this up. And see what I was trying to say is when you're when you're doing this, try if you if you use a razor, go from the top. But be mindful this is the screen underneath the bottom, so you're not gonna want to stick anything in there and pry it up. So right there in the corner, just pry up just a tad. Go no further than right here. Pry up, and then you can take your razor just to release the adhesive right here. But stray away from the bottom because this is where all your ribbon cables are. And I've seen people slice that whole thing and then the whole job has gone down the toilet and you're gonna have to buy a whole nother screen. It's gonna run you about $600. That might be a used one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down. And this stuff stinks. Yeah, can you smell it? Smells terrible. It smells like that that um, liquid metal or that um, or that J J B J B Weld or something like that. That's what it smells like, and it 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 it, it bothers me, bro. Trust me. Now, if you would like to come see me to do this job, um, with the digitizer, you're probably looking at anywhere from like 350 to 450, um, changing it out. Cause some of these models, um, even though people say, well, I can get the digitizer for, for $73 online. Um, what I use is more or less the, the, the factory OEM um, digitizer, reason and being, they usually run anywhere from a hundred and eighty nine dollars on up um, you get a better quality digitizer and you have less problems with it not working so you come see me to do a job you quite naturally you don't want to leave and it's still not working correctly so this is gonna be an absolute nightmare to get this stuff off you're probably looking at about a good hour to get all this glue off if you're lucky you can get one that doesn't that the, that the glue is not all over the place but what you're not going to want to do is you're not going to want to leave any of it on there and clean the screen as best possible um, reason in being um, if you don't you are going to be in a world of hurt because it's still not gonna 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 work correctly Sure we're not getting any of the residual down inside the board. They make another chemical, let's say, um, that that a lot of people use online to get this stuff off, and this takes a little bit longer, but it's it's always been my go-to because it works, you know. So I'm more functional on what works, and a lot of that, like I want to say, it's pink X or something like that, adhesive remover. Um, it's harder to find, you know. If you got it at your local auto parts store, grab it. But we don't have it down here, and I can order some off Amazon. But this job came in yesterday, so I had to had to go ahead and use what I got.
whoever decided to put this type of glue on here, I don't think they really thought this through. This is terrible. I know Hondas don't use that, you know, um, and their touch screens work just fine. I don't know why they put this in here, but it was for a reason. But man, when they go bad, I think when air gets inside it, the reason why you saw that it like changing colors up the top, if that seal breaks and it gets down there and that gets that heat intermingles with whatever's in between the glass and that digitizer, um, it goes south and it starts to leak. And as you can see, it's all underneath the board, all underneath the, um, the actual ribbon cable down here. And it just makes it harder and harder to touch in certain places and it just doesn't react correctly. but no matter how long it takes, you need to get this glue off here. Cause if you don't, when you put your new digitizer on there, once you, once you install it, you're gonna get that A on your other digitizer and your new one, then it's gonna look like crap. And B, it's not gonna work correctly. And C, you will see it. You will see whatever you leave underneath this thing. So if, it's, if the screen is not clear and you're gonna see right through it and you got a brand new digitizer, you're gonna see if I leave fingerprints in here, you're gonna see that as well. So try to make sure you clean that up as um, best you can. And you would think, <laughs> is it ever gonna come clean? It, it will, but it takes, it takes patience to do this. The first one I did, probably about 280 something before, after this one, well, all I said, I've done plenty. Just line everything up. Like I said, it was some some spacers in there I took out and they needed to go back in. using a hand I'm gonna hand tighten them because this actually goes all the way through um, the board and back on the back side of the main screen right where the actual ribbon cables go so I like to start out with my drill just make sure I get caught it just makes it a little bit faster but I hand tighten it with just a little screwdriver just to make sure everything is it's harder to get a feel for how tight stuff is going in. We're using power tools, which Milwaukee makes great power tools. Leave you on the sideline on this one. Now, one thing about this job, it's gonna save you a couple hundred bucks if you do it yourself. But keep in mind, if you do it, 
You're gonna have to be patient. Reason of being that glue does not come off of this screen. There you have it. Let me go and install it. Let's see what it hit like. Okay, so as you can see, this thing looks brand new now versus the old digitizer. You can actually tell where the glue starts separating at the top. It got light up at the top and dark at the bottom. And this screen right here just act like it wouldn't accept certain commands from my touch. So in saying that, when you buy the digitizer, um, it, you can find them online, you can find some cheap ones, but just make sure it matches up with the model number that you have on the back side of your radio. That way you, you're actually getting um, a quality part. Now, this one is actually an OEM screen that I ordered. Um, if you need a link or, or a part number, I will put that in the description. And you can find these on Amazon little nothing sometimes they have them on sale 50 60 bucks this one right here was 187 dollars uh shipped to me and i like the oem ones just a tad bit better because of longevity now if it doesn't fit into your pocket and you want to do this yourself get the proper stuff you need some goo gone razor blade pro tools take this off phillips head screwdriver and detach everything go back and you know saying Go back and look at my video on how I took apart and what bolts I put back in and just take your time because once you get that top screen off and make sure you don't cut any of the ribbon cords, once you get that top screen off, just make sure it's not a race. Make sure you get all that glue off because if I didn't get that glue off, you would see that glue underneath and then that digitizer just would not work in certain spots. That All that adhesive and glue has to come off. And it's gonna take some time. It took me almost an hour to clean it non-stop. So, if you got patience, you're gonna need it. My name is BJ, I'm from the 478, and let's turn this thing on and see what it looks like. That's what I'm talking about. So now you have all your functions, everything is working like it's supposed to be. And I'm pretty sure my customer is gonna be very happy. Like I say, I'm BJ from the 478. You need anything, you would like to contract me to do one of these, all you have to do is reach out to me. Um, you can DM me, you can send me a direct message. Um, I'm also on Instagram under BJ from the 478 as well. Um, I greatly appreciate you tuning in and thanks.